All right, so the goal for today is to talk about camera stabilization with your cell phone. I just want to make a quick, quick video about stabilization and getting good footage. Um, when you handhold a camera, sometimes there's extra movement. So there's a couple of ways to stabilize the camera. You can brace it against an object and get video that way. Or you can use a little tripod. There's a little camera over here. Tripod, that works. These clamps are a little expensive, but um, a good investment. A little tripod like this is maybe $10. There's other more expensive ones, um, but it'll give you a way to set the camera down and and, uh, and do a uh, record hands-free. This gizmo is a steady cam. So these these uh, are designed to hold the camera as a gimbal. It keeps the camera steady while uh, shooting, but they're, uh, th this one's about $100, which is one of the cheaper ones. But um, what I'd like to show you is a way to get stabilization without uh, spending a lot of money. So you need a roll of string. And I like my little Swiss Army knife because it's handy. You can keep it with you. I'm all for equipment that you can carry with you. So what we need is a string. And uh, we're trying, trying to replicate that gimbal shot. And the string should be about long enough. So the first version of this, the string should be long enough to wrap around the camera and have a little loop extra. So I'd say right about there. This is butcher string. It's uh, you can find it in a um, cooking store, but any string will work. First, I want to. I'm going to go over here to this camera. First, I want to take my string and tie a little end off so it uh, it won't unravel. So here's a, just a little knot at the end. And then I'll do that to the other end so it doesn't unravel as we work with it. Um, just a little overhand knot at the end. And then you're going to tie two slip knots. And so you're going to make a slip knot. You're going to make a loop so that the, the loop, this side of the loop is in front. And then reach through that opening and pull this through. And I want to slide that, I want to tighten the knot. So it's close to the one end of the string. If I pull both ends, then it won't. There we go. Now this is a slip knot. So you can, the, the idea is a slip knot is it opens and closes as you pull on it. So I'm going to make another slip knot on this end of the string. Pull that through, tighten it up. And then what I'm going to do is put that around the phone and tighten that up and put this around the phone over here. Being careful not to, oh, let's see, being careful not to um, obstruct the lens. And I want to make sure that the, the, when I'm shooting this way, that the camera's right set up. And now there's my steady cam. I'm going to adjust and, and hold that steady. Change the grip around. So when I shoot, I'm going to shoot like this. Now we're going to cut to a little bit of a sample steady cam with the string and a steady cam with the little the the it's called the smooth cue. Okay, well then we've made this style of steady cam. We can actually take a shot right here. That's one version of sitting your camera. Uh, what I'd like to do is, and of course it just takes practice to, to make this work, uh, do another type of steady cam. Uh, people who shoot with DSLRs and don't have a tripod handy or want to make a quick shot, they use the camera strap and I'll do like this. And then uh, another way to do it is we'll do the same thing we did with our first steady cam. Um, we're going to get some string, but we want it longer so we can use it like a camera strap. So there's enough for a loop to go around the camera like that. Yeah. Oop. See, enough for a loop to go around the camera. And you can put this over here. 
And then we want to make it long enough to use like a camera strap. So arm's length. And we can make it even longer, a little bit longer so we can have some room to play, room to adjust. And we're going to cut it with our handy Swiss Army knife. We're going to tie our little ends off like we did before. The little end, the little uh, little knot at the end to keep it from fraying. I would not suggest you use twine because twine has all those little little hairs in it, and and uh, won't work as well. Now we're going to tie our oh, our slip knots. So there's the, the loop that crosses over there. Pull that through, and then try and slide the knot from one side. Oh, if I pull it from the center, it's going to center the knot from you know, equally uh, from each side. So I'm going to try and pull it from one side only to make the little tail here very short. So now I go to the other end and do the same thing. I cross over. I'm going to pull this up and and tie that off. Now I have my loops. I'm going to put those around the camera. But this time we're going to make the loop Tighten toward the center of the lens, center of the camera. You know, check that that the uh, loop is about a third of the way up or halfway up, something like that. I'm going to take this this loop and put it around the other side and tighten that up. Just slide the knot, and then we're going to put the strap around the <clears throat> around your head, around your neck. And hold it out tight. Now I've get, now I've made my little mine a little bit too long. So the easiest thing to do is just tie a slip knot further up the string, like so. And I have a strap hanging down. I can trim that off, but I just want to show you the the technique. Ooh, I made this slip knot work the wrong way. Okay, there we go. That's a little better. So now if you hold that tight, and I'll turn this on and give you an example of the, the shot. So here's steadying with the, the technique of pulling on the string to get you a nice steady shot. Here's what it looks like. If you're steady, it works pretty well. So here we go. That's the version of the city cam. So you can see that the, here's a, a version of the city cam using the the string method. And there's our tripod and our clamp, ready cam clamps, about 30 bucks. That tripod's probably about 10 bucks. This tripod, I've got my little setup, is that's about 70 bucks. But you can do all this much more cheaply. So there's a, an example of steady cam. We'll go out and give you an example of the, the steady cam compared to the gimbal. Thank you very much. Okay, like an idiot, I didn't turn on the mic. So we'll try this again. All right. Now I have the, the Smooth Q set up. It's the one of the more challenging to set up. When you set up one of these, you want to try and have the camera balance as close as possible. There's some adjustments you can make to make the arm swing back and forth. To have the camera balance more of a, in a centered fashion, so when you turn it on, the gimbal doesn't have to do as much work. I'm going to just push and hold the button. And it should, there we go, it turns on. You can turn the camera left and right to pan. There's a, an a, a adjustment for tilt. So I'm going to turn this on, record, and I'm going to check out the this gimbal version for a shot. I'll turn that way and stop. 
and I'll turn the gimbal off because once you're done shooting you don't want it to have you have it working and I'll take the camera out of here and I'll get my piece of string um, I've added actually added a loop to the string and I'll it'll be evident in a minute so basically it'll, it'll help do a tilt on the camera so there's this one now you want the well, something I figured out is you want the slip knot to be in a position so when you pull this way it tightens so for the center loop I'll get that set up a few extra loops here Let's see if I'm in the right direction. Yes. Pull the loop out so it so that one tightens. Now this one, I'm going to slide down to the bottom of the camera and then put on the last loop. And that one goes at the top. You can see it's not the simplest thing to set up. Now we're ready to go here. Okay, there's one loop. There's another loop. I've got some extra string. I'll just hold it here. Now you can see this this bottom loop will help tilt tilt the camera. So now let's go back to the camera setting. Video record. This one sometimes you have to study the camera a little bit when you start. Let's go this way. Ooh, I'm gonna take some practice to get working. There you go. There's a shot with the string, and then I'm always, and this is very cheap, of course, like a couple of cents worth of string. And I'm always one for finding the, the lowest cost way to get high production quality, so I'll take these strings off, and we'll try the hat. Now the, the, I assume you're going to edit all this before you use it, so let's set this one up. Start recording. I have to start recording before I put it in the hat because of course I can't get to the, get to it before, well I'm, well it's shooting, so here's a hat steady cam. And those are some techniques. So what you what you need to do is get a piece of string, tie some loops in it with a slip knot, use that as a steady cam, use the hat as a steady cam. You can also I'll put this one on. You can also use a, an object to record. So I can brace in the camera here. I can get a pan and a tilt. The pan, just leave the camera put, stuck at one side, and that's uh, one way to get a steady cam shot. All right, is this still recording? So, those are just a couple of different ways to get a, a steady shot with the camera moving, steady shot braced against an object. So, I want you to try and shoot your own video using objects you can find, cheap, simple uh, techniques to get steady shots that look professional. Yes, and I'm out of the shot.